Buckeye fans still are not over the way last season ended two straight losses, including a third straight loss to that team up north. Ryan Day made massive renovations ahead of spring practice. Gone is Kyle McCord, making way for another heated quarterback battle. Returning are highly recruited Devin Brown and Lincoln Keenholz. Day also added some experience to the room with Will Howard, who won a Big 12 title while at Kansas State. Day and his staff were not done reloading there. They bolstered the offensive line by adding center Seth McLaughlin from Alabama and also from Tuscaloosa. They brought in one of America's best players in safety, Caleb Downs, and one of the best running backs in the country as well in Quinshawn Junkins from Ole Miss. Now, the changes continued on the coaching staff. Three new assistants. First, Ohio State hired Bill O'Brien to be the offensive coordinator. Days later, he left to be the head coach at Boston College. So, to find his replacement, Day turned to his former offensive coordinator when he was a player at New Hampshire, Chip Kelly resigning from his head coaching post at UCLA for the chance to reunite with Coach Day. So obviously many storylines mm -hmm. to set up the uh, spring practice schedule. It does begin tomorrow morning at Ohio State. Yeah, and NBC4's David de Guzman joins us now with a preview of what will unfold over the next several weeks. David, obviously there are high expectations surrounding this program. Yeah, no doubt this will be a very closely watched spring practice schedule. As Jared mentioned, lots of new faces mixing with big name returning players. And we heard earlier from quarterback Devin Brown, who vows to compete for that starting job, looking at silent the critics and the rumors of him possibly transferring, but there's no question the competition will be fierce this spring. The addition of Kansas State transfer QB Will Howard is also raising the intrigue of what exactly will unfold over the next several weeks. Remember, Howard won a Big 12 championship with the Wildcats in 2022. He's already embracing those high expectations that the Buckeyes have for him. We know how much is on the line and we know how much we've We've already kind of given to this to this season and how much we've invested in this team. Um, and I think we had a really, really good winner. I think, you know, just the, the way the guys were brought in, the leadership that we have on this team, the amount of guys that decided to come back, that decided to come to this program. We're chasing that 1% every single day. And at the end of the day, we know that our, our main goal is to win and to win all of them. And that's that's the bottom line. And regarding Chip Kelly, Will Howard, big fan, very mm -hmm. excited to work with him. He grew up as an Eagles fan and remembers when Chip was, you know, the head coach in Philly and mm -hmm. probably said all the right things for a guy who will probably determine who will be the starting quarterback. Oh, man. Well, the biggest takeaway I got today was the three quarterbacks in this battle, primarily in this battle. Yeah are extremely confident. Mm -hmm. Which is exactly what you want in somebody exactly. who could be leading the team. Yep, you can't take that role. It's going to be a great no. reality show to unfold. Oh, <laughs> well, ideas, I like it. <laughs> settling up for a front seat. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Now